ਇਸ 24 ਆਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਪਾਲ ਚੀਮਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੁਣ ਜੁੜੇ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਘੰਟੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਕਈ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਪਲਾਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਸੂਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਫਰੋਮ ਐਬਰਟਸਫੋਰਡ ਬੀਚ ਤੋਂ ਜੁੜਨ ਦਾ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਰਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਬੜੀ ਚੰਗੀ ਖਬਰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਅਮਰ ਸੂਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈਗੇ 7789911531 ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਖਰੀਦਣੀ ਹੈ ਵੇਚਣੀ ਹੈ ਰੈਂਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਇਨਵੈਸਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਚੀਜ ਖੋ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਟੱਲੀ ਮਾਰੋ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ 100% ਕਰਨਗੇ ਤੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਤੋਂ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝੀਆਂ ਕਰਨੇ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਪਰ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਸਾਂਝੀਆਂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਨੇੜੇ ਤੇੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਬੜਾ ਭਰਵਾ ਹੰਗਾਰਾ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਾਨਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਾਨਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬਗੈਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਨਹੀਂਗੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਵੀ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਕਮਿਟਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਆ ਜੇ ਜੁੜਨ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਨਮ ਦਿਨ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਲਗਿਰਾ ਮਨਾਈ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਚ ਵਾਧਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਲਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਗੂੰਜ ਉਠੀਆਂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਕਾਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਕਲੋਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਕਰਾ ਲਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਅੰਦਰ ਮੂਵ ਕਰ ਗਏ ਆ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਮਦਨ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਟੁਕਵੀਂ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੇਫ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ EC24 ਦੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਟੀਮ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਪਾਂਸਰਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਲੱਖ ਲੱਖ ਮੁਬਾਰਕਬਾਦ ਹੋਵੇ ਪ੍ਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ IPTV ਦੇ ਚੈਨਲ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ PC24 RE TV ਤੇ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈਗਾ Voice of Real Estate ਤੇ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਲਾਈਵ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ LinkedIn Facebook X ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ Twitter ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਤੇ TikTok ਉੱਤੇ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਲਾਈਵ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ 647 800 15 18 ਤੇ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਟੈਲੀਫੋਨ ਤੇ 647 333 72 ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟੱਲੀ ਮਾਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕਾਲ ਲੈ ਸਕੀਏ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਕਰ ਸਕੀਏ ਤੋ ਸੂਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਹਲੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਪਰ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਅਕਬਰ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਸੁਨੇਹਾ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪਲੇ ਕਰਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤਿਉਹਾਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਉਨੀ ਨਿੱਕੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਨੀ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਊਚ ਨੀਚ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰ
the second straight month of negative growth hun kende hai ki jehdi market hai gaye ne ohna ne received another r word jinnu kende hai ji revision statistics statistics canada ne eh jankari ditti hai ki jehdi real gross domestic product hai gayi hai वो पॉइंट तीन परसेंट घटी है पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट ड्रॉप हुई है क्वाटर ओवर क्वाटर ये तीजे क्वाटर की गल हो रही है तो उन्होंने कहा कि जी जी उन्होंने अपनी रिवाइज की इट्स प्रीवियस नैगेटिव रीडिंग फॉर सैकेंड क्वाटर टू पॉजिटिव ग्रोथ ऑफ पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट तो ये आर वर्ड जरा रिविजन हो गया इन्होंने कहा कि कोई दो कंजैक्टिव क्वाटर नैगेटिव जान तो उन्होंने कहने हो जी कि यह जो इस वक्त है यह नैगेटिव ग्रोथ चल रही है और इस वक्त जो उन्होंने नैगेटिव ग्रोथ की गल नहीं की उन्होंने सिर्फ यही गल की है जी कि इट्स नॉट ए नैगेटिव ग्रोथ यह जी क्वाटर सैकेंड की सी पॉजिटिव गई है इस करके असी हले आर वर्ल्ड तो थोड़ा जहा अटके हाँ पिछे बैठे हैं तो दिस क्योंकि ये जो दो स्टेट क्वाटर नैगेटिव नहीं होए तो आर वर्ल्ड जोड़ा वह अपलाई नहीं होंगे forward now is revision it is not a uh, recession kende hai jo jo marzi innu tusi keh deyo jo marzi tusi innu naam de deyo negative kar deyo positive kar deyo basically jehdi gdp hai oh it's not growing despite the artificial sweetener of rapid population growth तो असी उड़ीक रहे हैं जी सा पूरा साहब जल्दी जुड़ जाए असी उन्होंने गलबात कर सकी पूरा साहब बहुत ही बिजी बंदे जी पता नहीं साढ़े लिए कि टाइम क्डते हैं रब जाने तो ज़्यादा प्रैशर भी नहीं पाना उन्होंने चंगा एनी वेज आर वर्ल्ड जोड़ा रिसैशन वर्ल्ड एवॉयड हो गया वजह की है कि इन्होंने सैकेंड क्वाटर की ग्रोथ में नैगेटिव तो घुमा के पॉजिटिव कर दिता ठीक है और वो गल तो है कि ये जो मर्जी इन कह लैन ये ग्रोथ जी है हो नहीं रही थिंगज आर स्टेशनरी और गोइंग डाउन सैकेंड कंजैक्टिव मंथ है कि जो ये जी डी पी जी नैगेटिव जा रही है केंद्र जी ये आर्टिफिशियल स्वीटनर कि पाया गया पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ का बट री इनफोर्सिंग द पॉइंट दैट इट डजन क्वाइट सिंक टू दी लैवल ऑफ रिसैशन द इनिशियल रीड ऑन मंथली जी डी पी फोर अक्टूबर वाज सरप्राइजिंगली पोल्टी पॉइंट टू परसेंट उपर सी कन्फाउंडिंग एक्सपैक्टेशन दैट एक्टिविटी वुड श्रिंक इन क्वार्टर फोर कहते जी इट इज़ नॉट ए टेक्नीकल रिसैशन बट इट इज़ नॉट गुड ईदर ए टी डी के जे जेम्स और लैंडो जी उन्होंने गल की है बाकी गल तो एक पक्की है कि जी इकोनमी जी है वो कमर जी है बुरी तरह टुटी पी है उसी जिदा मर्जी इन तुम ग्लोरीफाई कर लवो पर जो है सो है सिर्फ वो ये है कि पैनिक नहीं क्रिएट करना चाहते कि की हो गया कि नहीं हो गया दैट्स आल अबाउट इट तो असी देख रहे हैं कि साढ़े नाल पूरा साहब विराजमान हो गए असं ये गलों का करते रहेंगे प्रोग्राम जो थोड़ा ये दस दें कि सैबर ट्रैक रिज हो गया जी अजो इवेंट से बड़ा व्डा तो उन्होंने हथौड़े मार के भी दिखाया कि वो जी बॉडी है वह टुटती नहीं गई तो पर ये बावजूद जो शीशे से कुछ मारिया तो शीशा करैक हो गया तो साढ़े जे शेर साहब है लॉन मस्क साहब वो फिर भी समाइल करते खड़े रहे कहते शीशा ही है दिल तो नहीं टुटे किसी का कोई गल नहीं दैट्स ओके तो इस तो पहला किसी गलबात करी अगे असी अपने अगे थोड़े तो सामने पेश करा जी साढ़े जे गैसट बैठे है एबरसफुट भी सी कि एबरसफुट कितने टोरोंटो देखो जी टेक्नोलॉजी ने जोड़ दिते बंदे दो ने So, Mr. Sura, welcome to the show, sir. Ji. Thank you so much for having me back. All Absolutely the time. wonderful to see and you. And I notice you are uh, yeah. very, very tied up in so many things that I'm doing. How is the market in your neighborhood? So much the same again. You know, buyers are finding good deals if they're ready to pull the trigger. Uh, yeah. Mostly, the conversations happening are, you know. uh marry the house date the rate um, <laughs> that's a big thing right so um rates can fluctuate uh the piece of real estate you're buying uh obviously you need to 
uh, really qualify that. And I think that's what buyers are finding now. They have the opportunity to take their time. Um, just an ex example I'm going to give you, we had a viewing for a small apartment on the 15th. And uh, with a little bit of back and forth, you know, we, we kind of... Uh, um, we, we, we discussed with the client whether they want to put an offer in or not. Is that the best place? Uh, and surely enough, that was the, the most flexible place with uh, the kind of terms they wanted. And uh, obviously the price point was right. So uh, we, we got an accepted offer today. Um, and that's two weeks later. Now, put ourselves in the same position last year. Uh, psychologically, how the people were behaving, um, you know, fear of missing out. They were clambering over each other to pay more money uh, when they could have really taken their time and uh, um, had a better deal. So similar units in that building last year were selling for about 500000 mm -hmm. Um So, you know, yes, it's a good price point for a first-time home buyer, but... Uh, at the end of the day, if, if we're able to come in and shave $85,000 of a potential, uh, um, uh, you know, listing type, um, yeah. certainly it's an advantageous time. If people have the money, uh, it might be wise to make that decision now, right? All right. So I read uh, an article online where I got a rate of luxury condo starting mm -hmm. from $3,475 to $4,160 per square feet. Wow. <clears throat> I, I, yeah. I couldn't believe it. This is, this is such a huge ESF rate of any luxury condo. So, have you heard about that project? The project name is, uh, uh, I think it is West Bank's project. And it is so called Alberni Condos. Alberni. Yeah, Alberni. Definitely, it's a high end luxury uh, product out there. Now, yeah. what we have to remember is okay, we're seeing this sensationalized in the news. And uh, if, if, if any party is looking, um, for a luxury style of living, yeah. uh, they're gonna they're gonna pay premiums, right? Okay, if people look at uh, a comparative uh, market like Nairobi or Singapore, yeah. you know, price points per square foot are similar in that range as well. So uh, look at Dubai or or Qatar if you're purchasing um, real estate in that part of the world. Uh, these are these are unique places uh, yeah. crafted for uh, you know people with that kind of buying power, right? So um, you know, I had most, that buying most power. People, I will go crazy, man. So mo most people, most people, they they see the the fluff that the media puts out there. And says, okay, well, it's overpriced. Well, in ba based on what, uh, based on what metrics are you saying that it's, it's, it's a bad price point? I I had a chat the other day with somebody. There's a beautiful house in the city of Langley, um, single family home, mm -hmm. uh, priced at less than 1.1 million. You own the real estate. You you have a house, a three bedroom house. And, and somebody put a message on the comment saying, oh, very affordable. Okay, you know, may not be affordable for you, but for somebody else, it may possibly be, right? But somebody who posted on social media affordable, I can tell you one thing for sure. He, he mm -hmm. doesn't own that kind of money because those people are not on social media. <laughs> no. They are actually <laughs> physically socializing, right? Okay. This is, you know, in the, with the advent of technology, we're we're becoming more and more stupid and sucked into all of what 
you know the distractions are right so at the end of the day uh, yeah so what i wanted to putting point things out on was um, there is mm-hmm. a magazine in uh, us it's called architectural digest and according to them this project broke all the records of uh, an average price for a building in north america outside of new york's central park corridor so i guess central park corridor may be as expensive as this building so and the magazine reported the stunning alberni building was kumas is a japanese architect tallest mm-hmm. in north america featuring an expensive moss garden a bamboo forest and its own amphitheater <coughs> containing a fazioli piano designed by the architect i don't know what that thing means fazioli uh, so these are things there uh, but uh, for me yes it is always relative to your buying power i can never mm-hmm. dream about that price 3475 4160 for air paid but anyways what i wanted to talk about this building is very sexy this is cool building man i can tell you that looks very nice if if you look at the prototype it's right here right yeah you see that so this exactly. is japanese architect kango kuma uh, on the right side with the developer ian celespi uh, Is this how you pronounce that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And model for a 43 story designed by the architect so photo courtesy Mark Van Manen. Uh, this is a PNG image that uh, we stole from internet. So this is a amazing building. But mm-hmm. this guy whose name is Tony Yi he purchased this condo I think he purchased two units uh, during pre-sale event, totaling nine mm-hmm. and a half million dollars, and that was in 2017. And now he wants an exit. Well, good luck with that, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, when you know <laughs> developer contracts are That's again, true. it's going to be one-sided, right? So at well, the end of yeah, the day, he's uh, showing the correspondence with the. uh someone from west bank or patterson group i i don't remember what who but he has been advising tony ye that you can rather buy a single home for the instead of these two units and he mentioned that many buyers will be losing their deposits and he will give tony ye benefit of the those deposits and he even offered a rebate of $850,000 to Tony. So well so basically he knows many units will go unsold and this will be a different story. So look at the price point and the kind of people who are buying it. Uh, mm-hmm. and this is something he's buying I don't know for his use or or he's uh, buying for investment. how much money people have and we are struggling even to find $100,000 <laughs> well yeah that's just the thing there's a there's there's one shopping mall in uh, central surrey that has not seen anybody um, in that mall for uh, many years and i was talking to another um, colleague of mine and he said it's just a another uh consortium out of uh, asia that owns it and it's nothing uh-huh. to them you know 20 million dollars yeah. uh, 100 million dollars is is nothing 100 million dollars is nothing many banks overseas like in china and korea are actually funding deals in canada uh, a unit mm-hmm. uh, I, a, a building i think d1 in toronto went into receivership by some uh, it was done by a bank in Uh, Korea, I think North Korea perhaps, and they put it on receivership, and the money came from those people. This is this is how it works. This is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. This is phenomenal. Anyways, so I found it very interesting. So I thought I will run this project by you. 
so how is your uh, spring valley going on still available or uh, done deal so you are having daily parties now Cer certainly still some opportunity there uh you know people have the option of uh uh, buying a two-bedroom unit still and receiving a uh, second parking uh, included in the purchase price. So uh, that's going to be an attractive thing. Um, central Definitely. location, um, and it's it's quite a unique uh, quite a unique spot as far as uh, Langley is concerned because uh, the the place where it's located is. Um, literally about a two or three minute drive to Brookswood Fernridge and Brookswood Fernridge is is a very popular area for young growing families okay um, it's actually one of the one of the cities that not cities but uh, places that made me fall in love with Canada because of the high trees and access to parks and and trails right oh wow. so it, it's it's got the big big size lots uh, in, in that neck of the woods. Um, so convenience wise, uh, you're you're in a central location. You could be uh, on the 99 highway within 30 minutes, uh, mm -hmm. and then further into Vancouver within a space of an hour. Um, makes it really quite attractive. Uh, obviously, the schools around the area. Uh, the unique businesses uh, are also, uh, uh, you know, upcoming and thriving. So we we find ourselves also, you know, getting out there and, and uh, uh, knocking on on the uh, the vendors' doors, such as you know any mom and pop shop will go and visit them and and say hi. Look, we've got this coming up. Looking forward yeah. to seeing you in. Uh, uh, in 2026 and obviously this this creates a, a good sense of community right that's the whole purpose of what that's we do true. over at the bank as well is is kind of make people aware that we are there to serve them and uh, and make sure that uh, the the, the pr project gets gets the audience it requires so still available um like i said last year if we had marketed this project it would have been fully sold out in a weekend but uh here we are uh 12 months later um and we're marketing it now uh, i yeah. think we'll be in a unique position um after the new year because mm -hmm. one the sales center will be open when the sales center open normally what ends up happening is the price point will go up a little bit um and then uh, we, we'd be able to offer s some kind of, uh, uh, you know, good incentives uh, even in springtime, right? So um, That's right. we'll launch both projects in unison um, and we'll sell them out of the same sales office. Uh, so we'll be based in North Surrey at that point. And then uh, that's for the 94 townhomes upcoming. Um, great uh, idyllic views there. So there's there's a little bit of something for everybody, right? And then we're yeah. as far as in Maple Ridge. Maple Ridge, uh, that's another upcoming area as well. So <clears throat> but, crossing uh, over. The, the project was coming up uh, for possession in three years' time, if I remember that. 2020. Yes, right? 2026. And uh, yeah. RBC is already committing to give you an approval for three years and holding the rate for you. And uh, they will hold the, the rate for the if purchaser. If the rate, rates go down, people still get the lowest rate at that time when they exactly. actually, and there won't be any appraisal at the time of getting a mortgage. What else yeah, you need? No I do not see. Uh, it seems like the same market as 2021 or 2022 from these perspectives. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the kind of so, price is reasonable. If it was hot market, builder wouldn't have priced it at that price point. It could have been a different right. price point, right? Because of demand yes. and supply offset. And the second, let's say the mortgage rate was 2%. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but RBC is offering a commitment that, okay, you are logged at, let's say, 7.5%, whatever rate today is, but with the stipulation that if the rate goes down, you get the lowest rate, but if the rate goes up, you get the increase, the you ceiling. still get the guaranteed rate, right? So, yes. isn't it win-win? I'm not sure if RBC uh, has given this kind of commitment, but most of the time, all these pre-approvals come with this stipulation that if the rate goes down, you will get the lowest rate. If it goes up, you will get the committed rate. So, if you can check with the bank or if you already know about that, let us know. Yeah, so that's exactly how they've... Uh, I'm going to send you the, the sheet. I okay. think I've sent it to you before. But uh, Well, then how um, is it different from 2021, 2022? It is rather better than 2021 because you have the lowest price but the best interest rates right. when it comes for occupation. So here's the thing. Look, when people were purchasing pre-sale in 2021, right, and mm. they didn't get the pre-approval from, from RBC, yeah. now some of those units are coming back to the market and people have lost their deposits. So mm, that's right. some of the people that went in and said, okay, I'm going to wait till six months before to um, get my mortgage in place, uh, I'll just wait, they're unable to do it. Now, the people that went for the pre-approval or the, the, the firm approval from RBC, All right. they are now realizing... 3.45% interest rate on something they can complete on. So did the bank think that that was going to happen? Nobody thought that, okay, the, the, the interest rates will skyrocket because it was a, is it an anomaly? I think what's happening is there's certainly entities that are pulling strings, which need to be pulled and, and, um, you know, there's a there's a consequence of uh, um, some people not coming out as good as they should have because they took uncalculated risks, right? Okay. So, when, for example, if I'm having a conversation with a client about a presale, uh -huh. um, the purpose of me engaging them is to make sure that they make a wise decision for their future, not for the fact that oh. Uh, we can flip it yeah. bef two weeks before. Even if they're considering, let me flip it, they're still, they're still on the hook. If that flip, if that purchaser that they assign it to doesn't complete, they're still on the hook because they right. bought the contract, right? Yeah. So going back to Mr. Yi, uh, Mr. Yi signed a contract um, and his deposit is now obviously been, whether it's insured, it must be insured at that kind of uh, number and, and that caliber of builder, uh, the, the, the deposit must be insured. Um, uh, he, he's either going to be, uh, he's either going to be losing his deposit because the, the thing with the developer's contract is it specifies certain things that you know throughout the procedure of the building um, uh, process of the building uh, when things change amendments are made and if the amendments aren't forwarded to the buyer only then can they say that hey I haven't been informed of any changes I want to walk away Right, so I don't know what lawyer he's hired. Uh, he must hire the uh, top lawyer because of his ability to perform on such a high level. Right, I he's, guess he's got so, that yeah. kind of money. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. He must have hired some top so lawyers I, for fighting their case. No. But depends what was in the agreement to purchase by the builder. Builders' agreements are mostly one-sided agreements. But an agreement is an agreement, mm -hmm. a contract is a contract. This is a different thing. This is not, uh, to my best judgment, not a real estate law. This is contractual law. Right? So things mm -hmm. are totally different. So 
So stay here, Amrit. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and uh, maybe we'll talk a bit more about some other things in your hood. Give me five minutes. Okay. Are you thinking of selling your home? You are covered. From my experience of 14 plus years in the real estate industry, this is what I have come to know. There are three major concerns that any home seller would want their realtor to answer. Number one, how much is their home worth? Number two, how long will it take to sell their house? And number three, what will the agent do to make it sell? I have answers to all these questions. To schedule your one-on-one -on -one appointment, call me at 647-424-0358. Once again, Paul Chima, broker with Remax Prime Properties. My phone number to call is 647 424-0358. Call me now and get moving. From a vast experience in immigration industry, this is what I've figured out. Clients want to know if their application is submitted in a timely fashion, what a representative can do to serve best interest of their client. Clients are informed on a regular basis about the progress of their application. We deliver what we promise. My phone number is 647-465-8894 or reach me out at 639-998-1992. Are you thinking of a career change or adding another one to your portfolio? Well, you are thinking right. Call Sarabjit Ludhar at 416-879-3039 from Beyond Care Insurance Solutions. She also deals in life, long-term travel, critical illness, disability insurance. Give her a call today at 416-879-3039. This is what we can tell you. She will always give you the right advice and help you find out if being an insurance advisor is your piece of cake. Are you looking for a reliable legal office that can handle your closing in the most effective manner? If yes, please get in touch with Rakesh Joshi at 416-213-8600. Joshi Law Office provides all the legal advices about real estate law, business law, immigration laws, notarization and affidavits, wills and trust. Give them a call today, 416 <laughs> ते मेरे परिवार नू मेरे मगरों कोई एक मिलियन डॉलर मिल जाऊगा ओ अच्छा एक इतना ओ जेते नू जान करी चाहिए दी है तक कमल जी तो बोला नू संपर्क कर उन दा फोन नंबर 670 772 14 क्यासी होने ही कर ला फोन बैठे ने नहीं तो मैसेज जरूर छड़ दे ओ बल्ले ओ तेरे So we are talking with uh, our guest uh, Amrit Sura here from Abbotsford, BC. His phone number is 778-999-1531. Feel free to give him a shout and ask for advice if you need to buy, sell or uh, rent your building. And also multi-residential units. Those things are in great demand right now with the uh, rental crunch. I guess buying a building where you can house many tenants can basically give you more profit. So, yes, uh, Amrit, any uh, specific item for uh, your neighborhood? 
So specific items as far as that's concerned, I'm going to, um, I'm just pulling up uh, the number of listings in okay, Abbotsford, Well, you pull the number of listings, example. have you seen the event where they launched the cyber truck today? No, I saw the Twitter, I saw the X feed on it. Um, no. In Toronto, there's one in there's one in Langley already. Oh yeah, um, demo. De de well, I'm not sure if it's demo. It's just a. It's for the showroom, right? That's really. I saw curious. pictures, and uh, I I yeah. looked up at the video, uh, and this guy took a big hammer, kind of sledgehammer, and hit the the body. Nothing happened. Yeah. And then he threw Nothing something happened. on the window, and the window cracked. Uh, both windows. Wow. And then Elon was standing in confidence, very happy about the product. And it outran a Porsche. And it in tug of war with, with F-150, it pulled F-150. Wow, that's wow. miraculous. Amazing power it got. Uh, I think 250 miles range is about 40 grand. Is it US or Canadian dollar? That I don't know. That's phenomenal. Um, Are you buying one? I wanted to order one when I originally ordered my Tesla, the car. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I won't be ordering that one at the moment. Yeah, my 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 thing is, uh, I think we'll we'll end up just um, holding on for a little bit, making sure that they they work all the bugs out, and then you know <laughs> we'll make a purchase of that uh, later true. on. That's very true. Yeah, we yeah. are not uh, those people who just want to be the first in that long line. Guinea pig. Is they don't want to be the guinea pig. Of your office or is your uh, phone uh, giving us nice music in the background? So that, yeah, that's the... Uh... Okay. <laughs> that was a phone a busy call, yeah. Realtor. Yeah, so some of the numbers, I mean, we can go over some of the numbers here. All right. Um, at the present time. At the present time, we have uh, um, 141 listings in Abbotsford. Okay. Uh, is it normal, is... this number of listings, this time of the year? This time last year, we had 106. So there's been an increase. So 35 increase. 33% increase um, yeah. over one year. Uh, so this time last year. At this a, point. Exactly. That's okay. It's sometimes yeah. seasonality as well. Plus, the fear in the mind of, you know, consumers, uh, they are very scared. Trust me on this. Yeah, so how are you finding the market over there? Well, I would say one house sells out of four. Okay, so 25%. Uh, because we go rate. by sales to new listing ratio, not active listing ratio. I do not have the screen pulled up, and it's too late for me to do that. But um, when you add active listings, it may actually come down to half home sold or four houses then. Maybe after eight houses, maybe one is selling. I'm just uh, stipulating. Because we are approximately at 23.4% sales to new listing ratios. So it is less than one regardless. And that means okay. if 100 houses came in October, only 23.4 sold. Right? So, yeah. and that means it is only less than one out of four houses that is selling. 
but adding active listings will lower it way much. So yeah, those numbers are kind of worrisome numbers. Uh, at this time, people who are very serious in selling will only be coming on the market, right? And mostly this is how it works. In the last quarter of every year, people think that less number of houses will sell versus other quarters. But the funny thing is it always is more or less consistent with the other quarters. This is my personal experience. This time it may be slightly different. So let's see how it pans out in November. I'm looking forward to it. So when people go from uh, other provinces like uh, Ontario, so what can they expect from you like in terms of service? Uh, some people may just come there, so they will need advice about, hey, where should I stay? Which is the cheapest location where I can spend my time? And uh, so what, how I want to see a couple houses. Can you arrange that? Normal questions, right? Yeah, so what, you know, what we encourage people to do is uh, obviously find out where they have some roots. Some people won't have roots. So they'll have yeah. to lean on where their work is and in relation to where their work is, what kind of commute are they willing to take in order to get to the work? Mm -hmm. Are they going to sacrifice a one hour drive? Do they That's need right. to be right near work as a single person? So analyzing their specific situation is what we would do in a, in a initial meeting, right? Okay, or so an initial that meeting phone can call. be over phone, over Zoom, right? They don't Zoom. really have to be there in person. Not in person, but obviously when they, when we've, when they all, well, when everyone feels all warm and fuzzy to work with each other, yeah, then they would engage a phys, you know, obviously a physical meeting. They'd say, okay, I like this place. Can you arrange a, uh, a viewing? Well, prior to arranging a viewing, obviously, we want to make sure that we have some kind of uh, um, some level of confidence that they have in 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 ourselves and the team. Okay. So whether whether someone wants to live in Hope or North Vancouver or West Vancouver, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be someone who's going to be able to attend to that for them, right? Um, so gauging their lifestyle is very important. Do they need to be near parks and trails? Um, everywhere within BC is within 15 minutes of a nice park and trail. Mm -hmm. Schools. What kind of schools are required for the children? Uh, it's very important. Now, you know, if, if you've got a, if you've got a uh, spouse that, uh, that is an at-home mom or an at-home dad, that yeah. requires where, what am amenities are, are convenient for you. Mm -hmm. You know, while the kids are at school, what do you like to do? Well, I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the park and a trail or I just want to enjoy right. things. So mm -hmm. just to give you some perspective, you know, within within one and a, I'd say within one and a half hours, you could basically be from Langley City all the way downtown Vancouver and back within half an hour no one and a half hours one and a half hour okay yeah so and then with the metro being uh the metro meaning uh the uh the sky train uh link coming more and more closer and closer into the valley okay uh we're gonna find accessibility uh, mm -hmm. a, a really good thing as far as connectivity is concerned for people. So some people, they like to have their families live in, uh, you know, family friendly areas and then yeah. make the commute downtown and get into town uh, early morning for, for their work. So some people live in Mission City. Mm -hmm. Mission is about 15 minutes away from Abbotsford. It's so a nice name, once, Mission. Mission. So, mission, mission also has. How do I know your mission? You should know your mission. 
So Mission has a, uh, a locomotive train, which uh, is a passenger train. Mm-hmm. It leaves every morning at uh, three times in the morning, starting at 5 a.m. all the way to 5, uh, 545. Mm-hmm. And that gets you into Vancouver mm-hmm. in one hour. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a train, a West Coast Express. Some people choose to live in Mission for the convenience of the lifestyle choices they have as far as greenery is concerned or mm-hmm. access to the valley or access to nature trails or lakes. There's 15 lakes in Mission. So okay. they're able to work in the hustle and bustle of the city. And on the weekend, home time, you're free. You're, you're, yeah. you're out there just in nature. You're, you're able to relax, right? Uh, right? And much of BC is, is uh, it, it's like that. Um, so at the end of the day, I think we really need to analyze what the client or what the potential consumer wants and what kind of lifestyle they want to be in. Because yeah. if you want to be in the hustle and bustle, that's Vancouver City. beautiful. That's how I can tell you. So yes. Someday I'm going to see you there. I'm going to knock at your door saying, Hey, Amrit, I'm here. Yeah, come on through. We're looking yeah, forward I know. to it. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Amrit. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much anytime. for having me again. Please give Amrit a call yeah. at 778-999-1531. I yeah. keep telling everyone he will take good care of you. And uh, that's so true. Yeah. Yes, I appreciate you. Yeah, I'll see you next week, okay? Yes, probably, yes, 100%. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much, Amrit, for your time. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So this was Mr. Sura, all the way from Abbotsford, B.C., and uh, he shared some valuable information. Give him a shout at uh, 778-999-1531 in case you need any assistance with buying, selling, investing. Uh, I would like to give a uh, shout out to our other sponsors, Gurleen Ajla from uh, Four Way Immigrations. Our phone number to call is 647 465 8894. And uh, Sarabjit Kaur Ludur from Beyond Care Insurance Solution. Give her, give her a shout at 416-879-3039. Mr. Akbar Waris from Canadian Safety Trainer. And Mr. Waris is uh, involved in training truck drivers, telling them all the safety protocols on road, on scales, at the border. Uh, and if you are a big corporate, a big corporate, he will, he will help you with the hiring of uh, experienced truck drivers. So give Mr. Waris a call once again, 416-371-9849. And if you are thinking about uh, buying or selling a home, please do not hesitate to call me, 647-424-0358, 647-333-2273. Right now, I am looking for someone who is very much interested to sell their home in the Peel region. So please give me a shout if you have plans to sell your property. So I promise that we will sell it faster than anyone else on the block. So uh, before Mr. Amrit Sura joined our broadcast, remember I spoke about uh, uh, one thing is about economy, which we covered slightly. And because uh, the GDP was revised for the second quarter to reflect positive numbers. So technically, there is no recession, but at the same time, there is no growth as well. So U.S. consumer spending being so much more resilient than Canada's. Higher consumer spending in the U.S. Uh, economy is outperforming. So higher U.S. spending can be explained by a greater willingness to spend out of pandemic savings. People are spending money there. They are not holding themselves back. They are more resilient 
they are not worried like we are in Canada. In Canada, savings are still high but are increasingly shifting into term deposits and other investments that are less likely to be spent in the near term. So people are saving for uh, the rainy days. Households in both countries are vulnerable to a pullback in labor market. The bottom line that RBC gives us about this scenario is that Canadian household spending is already pulling back and we expect the U.S. consumer will follow as their savings run out. The drawdown of U.S. households pandemic saving has delayed but not prevented a slowdown in consumer spending. The weakening economic growth backdrop is expected to push both the U.S. Feds and the Bank of Canada to begin cutting interest rates next year. We are expecting the rates to start coming down next year. So guys, hold on to whatever thin strand you are holding on to. Do not drown. You will make it. You will make it. Just, just be there. Just hang on a bit longer. So let's see how the economy plays out. Uh, we, uh, we talked about quarter third um, GDP, and I'm not going to repeat that right now. So there are uh, sometimes very sad news, and this news is about a 15-year juvenile. Should we call him juvenile, someone who can hold a gun, threaten someone, is that person a juvenile just because the person is 15 years old? So this guy, this boy actually was involved in armed car checking in North York. So the police have laid several charges for his involvement in an armed carjacking in North York. And this incident was, uh, uh, this incident happened on November the 9th. And the area was the Donway West and Lawrence Avenue East. So investigation, investigators allege that a woman was standing next to her parked vehicle when she was approached by three suspects. Who demanded that she hand over the keys of the car. So one of the suspect was armed with a gun while another grabbed the keys and then they all got into the vehicle and fled away. Victim was not harmed in any way. So on Wednesday, which is yesterday, a 15 year old boy from Toronto was arrested and charged with robbery. Uh, while armed with a firearm, theft of motor vehicle, possession of property obtained by crime over $5,000 and mischief over $5,000. Mischief. And the charges are still to be proven in court. The police is asking for help from the uh, people of the community. You can call them at 416-808-7350. Five zero or crime stoppers anonymously at four one six two 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 eight four seven seven tips or their website www two 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 tips dot com two 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 tips is actually a phone number as well so area code four sixteen triple two tips so give them a call if you are in the know of anything because helping police will make sure your life is better and you can take these people off the streets and you can live peacefully. A report has indicated that the spending, the holiday spending, uh, is going to be tough. According to Dalhousie University's Agri Food Analyst Analytic Labs, Buying holiday food this year will be an expensive proposition. There are several underlying issues at play here. So inflation in Canada is at 3.1% as of October 2023. The food costs since pandemic 
have gone up by about 20 percent and it is not just the cost of food that could alter people's holiday plans however the cost of living pinching canadians pockets could impact how they splurge elsewhere too this was their uh, report so oh, christmas canadian is making a meal of uh, traditional turkey with vegetables vegetable side dishes and dessert for four to six people can expect to pay $104.85 on an average. Items have risen to uh, varying degrees in price. Turkey uh, went up 5%, potatoes went up 6.6% and carrots went up 12.8 percent the lab points out that these big meals have high upfront cost but could result in lots of leftovers a few days later lowering the overall per person cost to about nine dollars 48 cents the food lab called it a reasonable price to overindulge with those you love. Basically, you can have more people at your party than four to six people. So, and then they gave a table where all those costs were, uh, you know, shared. How much is what? So, if I could share that uh, image with you, and uh, give me one second. Let me see if I can. Yes. So I probably can share the data with you. Let me just bring it up screen for you. If you look at these things, they have given cost low and high, cost per serving size, this and this. So from roast turkey, from lower price thirty four dollars sixty one cents. Again the same. There are some items that changed prices, such as mashed potatoes. 4.9 to 8.99 and then uh, you will see onions 94 cents to three dollar 79 cents celery close to two dollars to two and a half dollars carrots 94 cents to 3.99 three dollars 99 cents and uh, parsnips three dollar to six and 49 cents brussels sprouts slightly went up uh, peas Slightly went up from two fifty nine to close to four dollars. Uh, Tortiere thirteen or fourteen dollars to seventeen dollars. Fruit cake went up one dollar. Eggnog went up one dollar. Rolls went up a uh, kind of few cents. I think seventy cents more or less. So now the lower cost was ninety two or nine uh, versus. One sixteen dollar forty eight cents, right? But if you share it with more people, you are looking at nine seventy seven, nine eighty eight dollars. So rather than wasting food, you have an option to share uh, the food with the more loved ones. Won't that be great? So try it. Include more people. Help others less fortunate to enjoy the Christmas. Uh, Mails with you. So with that, I would like to end the program today. How did you like the broadcast? Please share your uh, feedback with us. If you are looking to buy or sell property, you can give me a call at uh, 647 424 You can also reach out to me at uh, 647 333 Alternatively, you can send me a WhatsApp. Or you can send me text message at 647 333 I wish you the best and best of holidays. Stay happy, stay healthy, enjoy your life. But before leaving, as always, I would like to share uh, my deepest condolences with the families who lost a beloved one on this day. May God Almighty bless the departed soul. May they rest in peace. And may you get strength to overcome this huge gap in your life. And 
walk on your life's path wish you best of luck each and every one of you so stay connected stay happy and good things will come your way thank you very much goodbye